So give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. This ETK Radio proudly presents the week review. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made before observations, this could be a podcast. Well, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. You're the reason that we do what we do. Music and talk, it's all for you. Now the guys who are lots of fun for making you laugh, they're number one. They review the week just for you. So get ready for Paul and Drew. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack all up in your face. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew starring Jack all up in your face. Yeah! I'm Paul. That's Drew. That's a Jack. This is the show where we talk about things from last week and things that may happen next week you can join the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060 we welcome your participation we broadcast live every thursday night at 7 p.m as you know you can listen to us at live streaming at www.kctk.radio12345.com but it's much easier to use the listen to my radio app on your phone that you get wherever you get your apps, okay? You can also watch all the action. See our handsome faces on YouTube at the KCTK Radio channel and watch past adventures whenever you want. But that's not all. This program is offered as a podcast or, as we like to say, a podcast on iTunes, Podbean, Google Play, and anywhere you get your favorite podcast. So welcome to the show. And it is my pleasure right now to introduce you to and say hello to our friend Drew. Hello, Drew. What's going on, ladies? It's the Drewsh, a.k.a. Tweedledee, a.k.a. Tweedledum. Yeah. yeah. Are you both? Yes. You're Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Right. I'm going to sing a song about a walrus <sighs> and a carpenter. Wow. Yeah. Tweedledee really nice. and... And, of course, <laughs> welcome to um, the show, the newly graduated... He's going to Jack it. Jack, all up in your face. Hi, Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Are you doing Bud Dickman or something? <laughs> hey, everybody. Bud oh. Dickman? That's that's a little risque. <laughs> Jack, you're a, gra- you're a high school graduate now. Oh, my God. This has been a long week, though. Yeah. He's going to jack it where the sun always shines. He's going to jack it. So, last uh, week we talked about your friend that... Um, Put the thing on the Craigslist. Ha ha, that was funny. And there was a big protest, right? No. There what, was, actually, what let me face it. There was a protest and five people showed up. Oh, there were only five people. <laughs> so it was nobody. It, did, it got overturned, right? They're like, no, we, we're not we're not doing that. Yeah. He's so no- going to not walk. <laughs> so nothing happened, huh? Nope, nothing nope. happened. It's hilarious. And... You also <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just always unexpected every time that happens. I forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah, and I you also too. went to college orientation. Yes. How'd that How was that? Oh, I was a lot of fun. Nice. I also found out today that one of my best friends got accepted in UCM. So we're gonna it's cool, gonna, it's cool, gonna, cool, cool. It's gonna be a good, good time. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about going there too and everything like that. <laughs> oh, I'm your best friend. That's going. And uh, we're gonna be like sweet mates. He <laughs> is my best friend. And you know what? Are we gonna be sweet mates and everything like we'll that? We'll be roommates. I'm kicking Nick out. Sorry. Yeah, I'm a sweet with it and everything <laughs> like that. You are a weirdo. So are you and your friend gonna after like living in the dorms maybe for a year? You you guys gonna go get like an apartment or something? We'll get a house. Cool, cool, cool. Steven will cool will drop the big bucks. There uh, you go. Steven's the uh, Mr. Steve. Five, uh, yeah, Mr. Steve is the um, what is it? Real estate agent for KCTK. Right. Oh, he's yeah. the chaplain. Yeah. Gotcha. He's KCTK real estate agent. <laughs> The chaplain. Yeah, gonna, I don't know what the person that holds the money. But I'm just gonna chaplain. I'm gonna move uh, the because the church. Down there. You know, uh, church holds all the money. I, I think you've heard stories about how. When I went to college, my dad owned a house in the college town, 
And mm-hmm. my, me and my brothers both lived yeah. in those houses. Did you, did you guys also there? siphon gas? Was that also you guys that did that? I, I mean, I don't know. If I, I, know I, don't, I, I know of one guy that probably did it. I'm not going to say names. You know, his name's Jerry. But, you know, that guy did it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, he did it all, not me. He did it all it. the time. <laughs> I don't know if this is a court of law, if I need <laughs> to say the truth, but I do know. You can play the fifth if you would like. What was that? Hmm? I heard that too. That uh, was weird. Huh, that was weird. <laughs> oh, that was really weird. But I don't know if I did it, but this guy I totally remember a couple it. people talking about it. Sal, this Philip, guy, people this like guy, that. This guy, this guy totally yeah. did Those, it. Just random names. Just random, you know, names. random names to throw out. Wasn't it during the gas shortage? Um, yeah, it's always been a gas shortage. Oh, right, you know right, I mean? right, right. You know, the gas shortage of Warrensburg. That's what right, I'm talking about. Right, Because you guys are siphoning it. It's cool. Uh, Jack, <laughs> uh, my big news this week is I got myself a uh, iPhone. I, I traded my iPhone 9 eight, for an iPhone an 8, 8 Plus. Plus. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and it's only a one holer. Do you, what kind do you have? I think I have an 8. You he have two ba- holes? He has a baby. Do you eight. have two holes to stick it in? No, I don't got any two holes. He's hey, got the, I got one He's hole. got one hole stick I only in. got one hole, and it's got an exit and an enter. <laughs> see, I just got... Uh, see, I was going to go I for... Think a, it's, I think it's entrance only an and exit. There would, it is. Thank uh, you. <laughs> I was going to go for a seven, but I might as well go for an eight since the whole, we have a hole problem. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, that hole. Mm-hmm. It always mm-hmm. feels good on the so, hole. So... Do you plug your phone in in the car? Yes, I used to. Well, you get the, use the adapter. It's in the box of the phone. But see, here's the problem. Okay, use the adapter. Okay, right. you want to, but you also want to charge it. You can't. You, what What if I want to do? Let's say. You stop. Wait, hold on. Here, here. I'll just. Okay. Stop. I'll just. Hold on. Listen. Yeah. They make adapters for it. No, I want to tell you my At scenario. At the place first. that I work, I'll buy you it. I'm driving down the street. Okay. I use my phone a lot. You know. I oh, may be so looking you're, at so you text, text and drive. drive. No, maybe I'll, maybe problem with society right now. Yeah, that's guy, right. Maybe exactly. I'll be using it. Put the but phone down. And I'm enjoy just saying the before before I'm using it, I'm checking because I'm a very active person. Yeah. But then I get in my car, I want to listen to great podcasts like I don't know your midweek update. Right. Perhaps I've got something to say with Chris Whiting, <laughs> which is a great one. Which is a great one. I actually listened to that one this week. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah. So well, anyway. It was, yeah. But I, need I, can't, to, I can't wait for the next one. Like, but I need be, to okay. charge it up and listen to the great podcast brought to you by KCTK Radio. What right. do I do on this? Well, I have to buy myself an adapter. You, you, I know what you, you should do. You, uh, s- quit listening, don't listen to Drew. Okay. I like this idea you, so far. <laughs> well, I really had a good you, idea. Uh, oh, you, I can't you wait You either hear. option A, buy it for a couple of dollars on Amazon, uh-huh. or shoot your adorable nephew a little text message saying hey buddy go give me one of those things and I will okay. give you a good time or yeah, do that anyway Beats by Dre what does that mean that's not he's dry. Beats by Apple whatever nobody drives I use them all the time that's he, what I, I listen no, to my no, podcast I can't do on. that he I have a serious system on a car okay well I mean he, I listen to it on my, my uh, you know and they can still text and everything else if I need to you know how dangerous that is it's not that dangerous you drive and have headphones in what if somebody's like trying to it's called eyes Mm, I don't know. I disagree. I with had that. no problem listening to the guy give me shit the other Shut day up. about I don't care well, about running this. a I don't red care. light because he accused care. me it, of it. If anyone, if anyone has any solutions to this, because I know you're right now, there's someone listening to this podcast, Paulcast, but you also you're you, you're troubled because you want to hear the next uh, segment, but you need to charge up your phone too. Right. It's a tough thing. You, you have come a up, You've come up with the solution, so let me know what it is. But no I, one. See, I don't care. Nobody cares about this. Yeah, but you know what they care about? And why they why they can't charge their phone? They what they want to listen to at the same time? Jack's tech news. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Oh, oh, it's Uh-oh. the news from the Droosh. Oh, okay. Hey, everybody, it's me, Droosh. Oh my God. And oh. John Goodman breaks his silence on Roseanne cancellation. Why are you, or are you I was screaming? Trying to do a oh, there. Sorry, okay. I'm my bad. I was trying to do uh, a thing there. Yeah, nice I try. Apologize. Okay. It's cool. he always like talks about. The same thing oh. that CNN oh. is talking about. Actually, this one is Time. Fake news! This is called Time Magazine. <laughs> wow. You guys. Way okay. to go. All right. You, John Goodman. So, jo- what's John Goodman have to say? So, John Goodman is holding back from saying too much about the cancellation of Roseanne following a racist tweet from Roseanne Barr. Can, can I stop you for one second? Let's do it. John Goodman is a member of Sigma Phi Epsilon. He's, he's also you know the voice of Sullivan on, uh, on Monsters, Inc. But did you know that, Sully. Jack? Sully. Jack, what? did you know that? No. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to be one of those. He's also part of the Blues Brothers. 
That is true. He's he, also in Child A, or he's also in The Big Lebowski. Also, who can tell he me? He's great in that movie. Who can tell me what college he went to? <coughs> he went to the uh, University of Central Missouri. No. What's your guess? Uh, I'm going to say Mizzou. Wrong on both counts. Oh, I'm going to say he went to Southwest. Southwest Missouri State University, otherwise known as Missouri State University. That's where he went. My sister goes to school there. I know. That's why I bring it up to you. Oh, nice. okay. Okay, so anyway, John Goodman. So Go- Goodman played the husband. You know, you guys got that. Uh, he-, he would rather say nothing to cause more trouble regarding the matter. Roseanne was canceled Tuesday after Barr's racist tweet about former White House advisor Valerie Jarrett. In the tweet, she wrote, If the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had we know a baby... The we know this. Yeah, well, maybe yeah. the people that are, are, that are listening don't know the tweet. Yeah, it's okay, do. Roseanne tweeted it. He's into the it. The 65-year-old so actress has since apologized and blamed the sleep aid, Ambien, for this. And, uh, yeah, so he's not really giving them much bad yeah, well, about and, it. But what difference does it make what he says? They, all they do I is, just feel bad for him and the rest of the but cast. But all they're doing is asking him to get him in trouble or, right. or to cause trouble with him and his friend Roseanne. Of course, and that's what all journalism does. And guess what? Exactly. And right. guess what? Roseanne said the wrong thing, but he's still friends with her. Right. You know what I mean? You know, he I'm doesn't have to have... agree with her to be her friend. Right. Mm, never mind. He what? co-star. No, 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 no. Jack seems sleepy tonight, doesn't he? I am a little bit sleepy. He's probably been I sleeping in lately because he is a college gra- I mean, mm-hmm. a, a high school graduate. Yeah. So I, I feel am you a little that. sleepy by that. So do you think that Roseanne should have been fired? Uh, yeah. That was yeah. pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, it was pretty bad. Here's uh, here, I I, I believe think? I believe that they it shouldn't have been canceled. I believe should have been like put off for a year or something like that or did he bake maybe <laughs> did you what without me yeah do you know my father um okay so yeah. here's my <laughs> here i've been waiting to give my take yeah. on this you ready yeah everyone everyone i oh, wait let me get the camera on you my, i want everyone you, to look you at me and you <laughs> and you and you and you and you you're still in my gig you 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 and you <laughs> get the fuck off twitter do it now <laughs> get off the only Twitter you should follow, follow. I don't want you to put anything on there ever again. Besides, is follow KCTK Radio. That's it. <laughs> but otherwise, get off of Twitter. You get in arguments. You get all. You get all tough because it's anonymous. You get to say whatever you think. It's there's no interpretation of it. She said something stupid. She thought it was funny at the moment. She can't. She probably was drunk. Get rid of it. Maybe she'd been drinking a little bit. Yeah, a little ambient. A little bit of ambient. Yeah, it's quite the. So uh, she bugs. screwed up. So get the hell off of Twitter. Right. There's no need for it. I agree. And President B- President Trump, whatever your name is, off of Twitter. <laughs> don't you think? Okay, this guy's an idiot, right? Right. But don't you think his approval points would go up if he would just stop being well, on yeah, Twitter? Because every other president didn't use a outlet like this just to just God say damn. random. Oh, so wait, you're gonna talk about Korea and the whole thing on Twitter before it's announced to the rest right. of your cabinet? Right. That makes a lot do of sense. Do you guys do Twitter? No. No. I'm not Good. on that shit. And especially uh, now. now. I'm okay. honestly yeah. surprised that I don't use Twitter. I'm like one of the only kids that don't use Twitter. And and let me let me just say for the record, I use Facebook and I shouldn't, okay? I know it's stupid, it's addictive, but Twitter's just a trouble, a bunch of trouble. And speaking of trouble, uh caller, you're on the air. Hey, this is caller six. Hi, caller six. Uh, I want to talk about the Roseanne. Yes, situation. go ahead. Mm-hmm. Is it still an open debate? Of course. Always open. Okay. Now, I've never seen the show Roseanne. So yeah, original. You, 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 and you should watch it because it's funny. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, here's the question. What is the name of the Roseanne family? The family? The Connors? The family. The Connors. Yes, okay, Drew the wins again. It's okay. the Connors. Now, now Say what? Paul Rubin is an actor who played P.V. Herman. Paul, Paul Rubens did something naughty. Paul Rubens, yeah. And they kept blaming Pee Wee Herman. And they're going, no, 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 no. The actor who played Paul Rubens did something naughty, not Pee Wee Herman. Oh, you're, say- you're saying that Roseanne, she should say that Roseanne, Roseanne Connor, Connor did it. didn't do anything naughty. Only Roseanne Barr. Oh, that's well, that's a really good point. Huskable. Clifford Huxable. That, yeah, that's true. Naughty. I never really thought about that. Bill Cosby. Did something naughty. So we need to have a division between the actor and the actor, and then the character who plays the actor. 
Can so, I ask you a so question? So Bill Huxtable was not a serial rapist. <laughs> Bill Huxtable. <laughs> Bill, Huxtable. Bill Huxtable. No, which one was? Which yes. one was? That Albert? No. So, so Bill Huxtable was the rapist because he's a gynecologist. And Cosby, and Cosby, Cosby was is it. not he, a serial rapist. You know, he was a he was a baby doctor. So who's the racist? Con, uh, Roseanne Connor or Roseanne Barr? I think Barr, Roseanne Barr made the racist statement. Okay, I have a question for you. We you, have you been on bacon with Jack <laughs> <laughs> before the show? <laughs> I'm doing what with Jack? Bacon, bacon, <laughs> bacon, bacon and and a, No, bacon a cake. No, no, no. <laughs> So I just think that we just need to just differentiate people and art. Okay. Like, I have a friend who works downtown. He's different from Caller Six. It's two different <laughs> characters. Right? Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. The Paul Lovato, the Paul Lovato who works what? at the bank, what? is not the Paul Lovato I'm talking to now. <laughs> This what? is Paul Vincent. This is this is Paul from KCTK Radio. <laughs> yeah, Paul Vincent is different. From like Paul the Drush is different. different than Drew. I'm like everything like that. And I'm different from everyone and everything. Hi, you are a you're a gem. I am Jack. <laughs> and Jack, all up in your face. Did you bake <laughs> before you came? No. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, Keith. <laughs> you wow. seem. High as balls right now. <laughs> Doesn't it seem a little like weird and everything like yeah, that? Yeah, like were you dipping in someone's stash? Because if so, call me up, bro. It was yours. I don't have one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's why I said call me up. <laughs> oh, so this this is going to be really interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you ready for it? Really interesting. Let's do it. Okay. Tech Tonk. Shut up, Drew. <laughs> Why you gotta here's, spoil the surprise? Here's, here's Tech Talk with Jack. <laughs> okay, everybody. Who's, who's all up in your face? I'm all, up, I'm all up in your face, and Jack. And a baked cookie. And Drew's being an idiot. Um, I doubt that. <laughs> okay, so I was I was flipping through The Verge. For, excuse I, me, Paul. You trying to say I something? Mean, seriously? I mean, he like called me. He told me to fuck hey. off the other day when I asked you what hey. L- L- A L C U because is. Because you said I didn't a, know. You said a fact without knowing the fact. So <laughs> I'm just, just repeating like, it so we can start a yeah, discussion. Yeah, but let me let me take a step back. You text him, and I was on the text ch- chain. You were asking what the ACLU was. <laughs> and he, neither of you morons knew what it was. <laughs> well, I asked yeah, Paul, but, and you're like, fuck off. And I'm like, well, okay. Because I <laughs> thought for sure you would know what the American Civil Liberties Union was. No, because was. I wanted to ask so I could learn. So you could teach it's me. It's called Google. I don't want to Google. Okay, 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 okay. All right, here we go. Tech talk. Okay, so I was on the verge. I was flipping through. You're doing on the my, verge. I was yeah. on the verge. On the verge of insanity. Okay. So there was a... Um, an experiment or uh, like a survey type of thing going on. 85% of teenagers from the age 13 to 17 um, YouTube is their sorry, I couldn't, think, I couldn't think of the right words. YouTube is their most used social media. Yeah, since when? I think, I think this was a study back in two... Because we started our YouTube channel last year. <laughs> so I'm thinking... 2017. That's when everybody was yeah. really was a, starting to watch. It was a study of last year. That's when um, everyone started watching to get their news from the Drew. <laughs> yeah. Fol- followed by Instagram at 72%. 72% of teens use it constantly. Yeah. And Snapchat being 69%. To, f- okay. So 85%, it's like, so it's 85% use it or just... Use it. Like, use or it. Or they use it for their main source. Or, say it again. I'm sorry. 85% of teenagers... Like, watch YouTube every day. Use oh, it wow. all the time. Now, and 72% of them uh, use Instagram all the time, and 69% of them use Snapchat a lot. Okay, so... So, my question is, why do you think YouTube is so popular amongst the young people? That's a great question. I just, want, and I just want to know what you guys think. Because I think they, they, they can find easily what they're interested in. Maybe that's what it is. Or, yeah, that's a good. That's good. Or they um, sometimes base some of their opinions off of what they see on YouTube. And Word. They th- think they're smart. Yeah. I think the fact that it's free. No, oh, yeah. yeah. And you can free. get it. And you can get it quickly too. You, can you don't also have to watch like. Stuff. You don't, I mean, you can always get stuff quickly on Hulu and Netflix, but not as quickly as you can on YouTube. There are sometimes you can watch a movie for free also on YouTube. But you can like get it like that. Like, bam, right there. Like yeah. that. What? Don't you think that's the reason? Um, how many times you, uh, a day do you go to YouTube? Uh, well, how many times? It's, let me ask uh, you. How YouTube, many times do you watch Logan Paul a day? Never, never <laughs> once in my life. I know. I'm making a joke. <laughs> um, I YouTube's my most used app on app on my phone. Actually, that's not true. Snapchat's my most used app. Ooh, so um, it's an addictive. Actually, I, actually, let me phrase. 
let me fix this up real quick. Snapchat during the day, YouTube at night. I use YouTube do all you, the time at nighttime. Snapchat during the day. Is, is Snapchat just to see what other people are doing or to report on what you're doing? All of the above. Okay. Mm. Um, and they, I think I kind of agree with Drew. Is just YouTube. You can find literally anything you want. Yep. Com- you can skip commercials in five seconds, and there's only one per d- between episodes. Mm-hmm. I mean, my between nephew videos. watches Minecraft videos and stuff. That's what all he does. Probably all the time. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you. Okay, here's a fun question. Well, well can I go the... back just okay. on Instagram? I look at Instagram all the time, but I never report on what I'm doing. I just look at it because so I got to know not... what Candace Cameron's oh. up to. <laughs> She's yeah. cute. Uh, let me ask you this. Yeah. Here's a question for all of you. What's the most used app that you use every day? Snapchat. We well, used to Snapchat. I'm, I'm... Used. It, it I'd probably be Instagram. I'd probably look at Instagram longer than anything else. He has, 15, he has 1,500 apps on his phone that he doesn't even use. Interesting. I use them. I use them all. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you do not. I most certainly do. You if most. If I need them, they're there for me. Hmm. Okay, you? Me? Yeah. Uh, it's a tie. Uh, IMDB and uh, podcast. You probably podcast. use your podcast more than your IMDB. Right. Okay, so it's, there's a way on your phone to look too. But you know, I uh, also take the time to fake t- having to take a shit, so I sit on IMDb the whole time while I'm sitting there. So you that's like maybe it? five times a day, because <laughs> that's a boring of a job. So you know, but now that I started this internship, I, I'm finding that I'm, I have to be on certain apps. So you look at battery usage. And I think it gives you your past since the past 24 hours or so. Yeah. So mine is. 26% home and lock screen. I don't know why that is. Mm. Then Facebook, podcast, Instagram, Sirius XM, mail, texting, Safari, Candy Crush. Mm. Okay, within the past 24 hours. Oh, okay. We're all doing this? Yeah. Within the past 24 hours, 48% Snapchat. Wow. Uh, where do you look for wow. all this? Under battery, right? Oh, uh, over the past Over the past seven days. Snapchat forty percent, huh. YouTube behind it at seventeen percent. I didn't realize that I was kind of full of shit. Yeah, we did. Let me see. Uh, Google. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Google's the one I use the most apparently. Google, interesting. And uh, LinkedIn's number four, which makes sense because I'm always applying yeah. for jobs. Technically, technically in theory, I mean this just shows how much battery you use on the app. But yeah. I mean, it takes a long time to get the battery to go down. Podcast so. is like number ten. I was like, really? Because I use that every day. I use a pod. I listen to podcasts every how day. How often do you? Like how I, often do you listen? Also, to po- how many hours a day do you listen to a podcast? Pretty much for eight hours. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me and too. I'm. All, I have like a whole lineup and everything. Mm-hmm. God, there's a lot of good stuff out there, folks. Right. And, and and ours is better than most of them, but man, there's a lot of good stuff out there. Right. So yeah, did you listen to uh, the I've got something to say with Chris White? I really enjoyed it. You and did. What did you, the next you one. like about it? I thought he, <laughs> I just feel bad because you know he just seems like he gets himself into like these situations <laughs> and just I, he has he's very unlucky. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel his pain though. <laughs> oh wait, oops, what's that? So. This is a new podcast. Right. New podcast. It's a new podcast. Right. Where Chris tells stories. Yeah. And he told the story about uh, his uh, a- acupuncture, right. where he was stuck in there for four hours. I would have gone insane. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, seriously? These are needles on my face. Like, ridiculous. What does even acupuncture do? It may, it's supposed to make you relax. They're yeah. supposed to hit the pressure points, and it's supposed to give you this like, euphoria of, like, relaxing. And it sometimes... People can't relax because you got needles in your face and body. Yeah. So it's not, like, great. And he was stuck in there for, like, four hours. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he tells, he tells a good story. So there'll be more of those coming along. Just look under Apple, iTunes, or Google Play. Just re- type in, I've got something to say. And you'll find Chris, and we'll have fun with that. Um, speaking of uh, big fun, you had a big party. <coughs> um, and what I think is really awesome is that um, your graduation party was actually sponsored by KCTK, KCTK which is kind of cool. Yeah, we even had like a clown show up. It was great. No, it didn't. <laughs> I don't remember a clown. But there was an awesome caterer. He was fantastic. The pulled pork especially was mwah, delicious. We also Shout were to Brent. lucky to have live reports from um, our man about town, Mac. Oh, wait, I wanted to do this. Dang it. 
Uh, the show's ruined. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. Jeez. Shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Mac Report. Mac, the general manager and something Owner. else he is of KCTK. I'm just not the fucking <laughs> owner. Station <laughs> manager. The station manager of KCTK and Radio. Lawyer. <laughs> and lawyer. And around town, here he is with the Mac Report. You know what? We should do a, a podcast. Really? Can you do a podcast? Don't you have to be a whiz, kid? No, we're doing it now. Are we doing it right now? Yeah, we're doing the podcast right now. <laughs> what is he talking about? We do what we do. So is he schizophrenic? It's all for you. I oh. just started a podcast with my best friend, too. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. Gotta wow. put a plug in hey there, guys, Voice Matt of TK. Here, oh, here's a little here. special graduation uh, special thing for Jack, and that was my introduction to the uh, podcast mini podcast segment so we're trying to find <laughs> Jack all up in your face um, we're tra- traveling through the parties a lot of people here so I'm trying to find him I don't know where, where Jack is there he is okay there he is hey Jack uh, Max <laughs> and Stage I thought we'd talk you do a little podcast thing about you so what's up buddy hey hey how's it going everybody it's my uh, graduation party and I'm happy happy that you're here, Mac. Okay, well, it's a KCTK sponsored event. We pay for all the shit. So who's your boyfriend here? You guys are sexually related or what's up? What up? Uh, he's a handsome little boy. You guys the gay? Yeah, yeah. Mac, come with me. Mac, come with me. Okay. You got some fun stuff here going on here. Um, uh, it was nice to see all the all your gay. He's not one of your boys. He's, he's, on, the, is this? he's on the FaceTime. He's talking. Oh, okay. hey. Hey, how you doing? Okay, well, so, hey, wait, we just want to see what you're thinking about tonight. I'm just thrilled that you're here, <laughs> Mac. Thank you for coming, and I love you, and you're Aww. like a, fa- a family member to me. Hey, remember, it's all about making the money, right? Well, thank you. It's about the money. You know, and I'm paying for this stuff. It's, it's, it's out of my pocket to well, get you, you there. Know, the fact that you're here, I mean, you're the station manager, so it makes it seem like you paid for everything. Like, it's coming from you, from your heart. Well, that's true. You would t- introduce to your boyfriend if you guys are sexually related. I'd like to meet him. What's your name? Um, Nick. <laughs> We're not sexually related, though. Oh, okay, hey, Nick, oh, it's okay to come out of the closet. In We're, 2018, <laughs> we support Nick and Jack doing the Nick and Jack show. Okay. Nick and Nick and Jack. Nick and Nick and Jack. Okay, well, if you want to do this, we'll see you guys. Thanks for coming, Jack. Anything? Closing thoughts? Oh, I didn't Jack, know. Oh. Jack, let me tell you some Mac love to you. Happy graduation. Thank you. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. I but remember he, that. But he had... So you're not sexually related to that guy, right? <laughs> he's he's, he's just nice. a friend of yours. <laughs> he's the guy you're going to be roommates with, right? You know. He's the one that's the Hey, guys. It's Mac. <laughs> we're doing a little report. We're at the uh, graduation party. We're, for we're playing it Jack again? Jack is all up in your face. No, no this isn't a different so report. About, uh, oh. 75 people here. Oh, look. Oh, here. Wait, here's one of the celebrities here. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Droosh. Hey. What's going on? It's the Droosh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just hanging out here at Jack's graduation party. No AKAs today. Oh, so it's an AKA-free party. I see. <laughs> I figured, you know, I don't want to take away from, you know, Jack's day. Yeah, that's nice. You don't usually do that, but thanks for not doing the vulgarity. I don't want the vulgarity. Probably because there's an older woman here. So we don't care about Jack's thing. What we care about is the news of the truth. This just in. ACLU is suing Independent <laughs> School District. Oh, I heard that. That's old news from your last thing you did. Uh, no, How about you do something new? Okay, thanks. Um, let me see around, around the crowd. Oh, uh, look. There's there's Paul. Hey, Paul. What's going on, buddy? I'm not available right now. I'm very busy. <laughs> oh, you're one of those superstars that only do that. Well, I'm your fucking boss. So you're going to give a comment about the graduation the party. It's great. Um, being... Uh, that was too much, way too much about that. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Being a special boy that Jack is, we're all surprised that he went this far, so we're all celebrating. That is true. When a nickname of Jack up all in your face, that is pretty special. Who thought he would do it? So, anyway, yeah, just thought. reaching out to everyone. Here's an old lady here. See what she has to say. I think so. Maybe. What do you think about Jack's graduation? What? Jack's graduation. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Okay, thanks. That was an awesome thing. So, <laughs> seems like i got to talk to some other people. Um, Mac out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, Mac. That was the Mac report. Mac, Mac about town, everybody. Mac is everywhere. 
and uh, that was a good report. He kind of, he it was a mini podcast. Yeah, it had all the elements of That's it. That's what we usually do, and then you know, it's, I'm not even on the microphone. You, <laughs> the you being a the Druge, right? Me not wanting to talk and making fun of somebody. Uh huh. You and your sexually related. As we're listening, to this, what the fuck are you doing? What is wrong with you tonight? I'm enjoying You're taking you okay? apart the fucking microphone no. and you're leaning back. No. No. Almost no. knocked over no. the screen. No. Knocked over the whole no. station. No. 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 All right, Dark City, it's calm down. Okay? <laughs> no. God, Palpatine. Jesus. Palpatine. No. Let's go ahead and take, let's take our first break. Dead power. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ above. <laughs> Help us, help us. Oh, dear God, help us. <laughs> uh, this is KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. and starring Jack all up in your face. We'll be right back, folks. Hello. Oh, wow. Hello. This is me, Dr. Cromwell. I, Dr. Cromwell, am a gynecologist slash pediatrician slash ultrasound engineer. That is right. Because I have, because I can't hear myself on this phone, sir. Anyway, I am calling from my car. I make a lot of money. So here's the deal. I own a place called Sweet Baby Faces Ultrasound Studio. That's right. We have the latest technology to see your baby inside of your wife's belly. Or surrogate. Whatever you, whatever you, you know, we don't judge. So, we also have 3D. We have 4D. We have 2D. And 1D. Yeah, that's right. They didn't think 1D could happen, but it did. So, come on down to Sweet Baby Faces Ultrasound Studio. Come see Sweet Baby Doctor... He's 1D, and he'll scream at you until your baby's delivered. America's most misunderstood soft drink, but not for long. Hey there, everybody. Gary Stewart. Oh. <laughs> hey there, everybody. Me and my buddy Gary Stewartson are deciding to open up a diner down in Jefferson City. We're calling it the Gary's Classic Diner. It's uh, It's got all sorts of food. It's got Thai food, Japanese food, American food, Mexican food, all sorts of food. Any sorts of foods that you like. And while you can sit there and enjoy your meal, instead of watching sports like a douchebag, you can watch, <laughs> you can watch past episodes of uh, Gary Stewartson's Marvelous Wonderful Adventures with uh, Mary Poppins on the TV screens that are all around in the actual restaurant. Um, I am Jack, Gary's cousin, and <laughs> um, the restaurant will be opening in four and a half weeks down in Jefferson City right across actually let me rephrase this district 11 office <laughs> in the uh in the legislature building the big building <laughs> sorry i can't think of the name off the top of my head um and we are gonna we're gonna make it great thank you um and please stop by gary's gary's um classic diner 
And if you also like The Gary Stewartson Show, check out The Umbrella Show, their animation called The Cryptids. That's right, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of urban legends living in one house. It's a great time. But uh, make sure you watch <laughs> <laughs> Gary Stewartson first. You want a fun place to go? And you live in Fulton, Missouri? Well, you're shit out of luck. Because the only place to go is the 1851 Underground Tap and Grill. Too many bars that you go to nowadays have outdoor facilities where you can look at the sun. Not the, not the Underground Tap and Grill. You have to go down, way down, into a cave. You have to put on that weird spelunking hat with the light and everything. And then when you're down there, you'll tap and grill, tap and grill, grill and tap, over and over again. You will not wait to get the hell out of there. That's only at the 1851 Underground Tap and Grill. It's a place that you'll feel like a prisoner and you'll never go back again. And tell them Paul sent you. Look for the map under the can. Under Route 3. And welcome back to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew, starring Jack, all up in your face. Yo, and that's Jack, me. He's talking about me right there. Shit, that's me. Are you? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how up in his our face he is. <laughs> he's pretty chill today. He's like all chill, huh? I just took a picture for Snapchat because that's the most used app I have on my phone. Are you sleepy or what's the? No, I'm not sleepy at all right now. Do you not drunk? I. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Oh, that's right. You're not of age. <laughs> exactly. You're just stupid. Okay. <laughs> um, so, um, a lot of people, um, when they do a show, a lot of the things they like to do is they like to review movies. Right. And so do we. So, we're going to go ahead. And I'm interested in the movie called Solo. Solo, a Star we, Wars story. We oh, had we ooh. had a KCTK uh, event where we invited listeners to go watch uh, Solo. In fact, we do have one coming up for Ant Man and the Wasp. Right. Um, if you're caller six at nine one three seven three five zero zero six zero, you can go with us to see Ant Man and the Wasp when it comes out. I don't even know the date. Do you have the date there yet? No, I don't have the date. I'll find the date. Here, when yeah. you're looking for the date. Here, let me just look for the date real quick. If, if you could do that. Here, hold on. Let me just find Jack, that date. Jack, you're hold pretty on. good at this. Hold on. Let me just find the date. Hold the on. Date. I got this. Hold on. Let me find that. I just got the date. Just got the yeah. date right over here. Hold on. Just one second. One second. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. That is July 6th. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. You're number five. Hi, am I Hi, number am six I number so, I can, so I can go to the, go to the, the, uh, the show? The, no, actually, uh, actually, you're call, actually, you are caller number five. You have five is my lucky number, number, so that's good. Yeah, but you didn't win, so sorry about that. Thanks for calling. Try back another time. Caller, are you on the air? Hi, am I number six? Yes, you're caller number six. All right, you, I want to see Ant-Man because I really love that walk. I do too. Evangeline uh, Lily, absolutely. Yeah, and and uh, I don't know the date, dude. We'll, we'll get we'll get uh, the date and everything together. But t- would you like to join the KCTK crew at uh, uh, Ant Man and the Wasp? Excellent. We're gonna okay. do a great time. All right. Is there, is there special passes or anything that I need to? Yeah, yeah. We'll make sure you get the passes. And uh, okay, thanks well, for calling. Oh shit! I didn't get the guy's name. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, well. So, um, anyway, we had an event for Solo, and uh, we actually have, believe it or not, I know I know it's a little hard to believe, but we have Mac, the Mac Report <laughs> <laughs> from the Solo movie. Uh, but then I want to hear what you guys think of the movie, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's Sunday 
morning, 8.45 a.m. at the Lisa <laughs> and B&B Theaters. We're here. Okay, so a lot of times, you know, we're not... You know, we're not uh, true TV. I mean, we're not the big leagues. You right. know, we're not. Right. You know, we're not. Um, I don't know what's a big network. Uh, e. E. We're not E. We're not E. Oh wait, I turned you off. What? Or MTV. Yeah, we're just so sometimes we have to do our um, our movies very early in the morning. So we're DIY. Morning. We just do it ourselves. Right. So okay. Anyway, uh, I'll have to go back here so Matt can tell us what he's got to say. It's Sunday morning, 8.45 a.m. at the Lisa and B&B Theaters. We're here as a special KCTK, KCTK, TK, KCTK screening of Solo, the Star Trek Adventures. <laughs> this is Mac. I'm the general manager and vice president of syndication and all sales involved with the KCTK. And I'm hosting this because Paul is still asleep. Uh, and this is how I'm joined. With Drews up and Drush, Drush is in your face. No? <laughs> Drush! It's the Drush! Hello. I'm <laughs> tired. <laughs> wink, wink. Hey, why are you whispering? I'm here. I'm, but we don't whisper in the theater. The movie hasn't started yet. Hey, everybody, this is Jack all up in your face, and I'm all up in Mac's face. Hey, Mac. Hey, Jack, thanks for talking. I'm not sure why this guy's so quietly quiet, but he's got a Berlin and baked a cake. <laughs> Okay, so everyone's looking at us because we're in the screening, in a special <laughs> screening, but any predictions you have for the movie? Darth Doll. Doll is going to show up in the movie. I think his name's Darth Doll. <laughs> Darth Doll is going to show up. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm sorry? Darth Doll. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, KCK, uh, viewers, Keith, I just I appreciate you and thank you for um, always listening to us. I never say it enough. You have a love relationship with Keith. Um, so what you before the movie starts, what do you think? One to five. So you are you saying my rating up for the movie? Without like what my prediction of it's gonna be? Yeah, what, I'm gonna what, give what it else is he asking? Shut three. up, Dick. Okay, a three from Jack is up on your face. Drew? I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Oh, I'm gonna wait to give it. Why are you whispering? Because there were people there. Okay. The movie's not started. You can speak out as loud as you want. No, I'm not worried about that. And you pointing it out is the weirdest fucking thing ever. Do you understand me? Camera shy or something, or public shy. Something's not right. I was high as fuck. right. Okay. Thank you, everybody, and bring on the movie. So that's the macro report about. Han Solo the movie. Han Solo the they movie. They saw me smoke before we went in, for God's sake. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Is it Han or Han? Isn't it Han? It's Han. It is Han. I said it wrong. So, wh what's your review of it? Who wants to start? I'll let him go. Jack, uh, Jack, take it away. You did Now, last week you were saying you weren't really... You didn't have high expectations for this. I had very low expectations. I'm going to choose my words wisely, because if my father listens to this, he will kill me. Um... Because if I say reshoots and stuff like that, he's going to have a freaking heart attack. Yeah. Hmm. S Star Wars, or uh, Solo, a Star Wars story, was made up of 70% reshoots. Rust, mm -hmm. They were rushed reshoots. Right. Which, apparently, to Justice League, it just make, it, it reshoots make movies bad. No, I agree with you on that one. It doesn't bode well like Suicide Squad did well, the same I think thing. Well, I think the point that your father was arguing about is that it may make it bad... But it certainly isn't a good sign. Can we say that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Um, and so I was skeptical be behind. I was like, "Oh, it's not gonna be very good." Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. There was a lot of things. Have you seen it yet? I haven't. I, ha I have no interest in it. But maybe I do after you guys. If I was to, say, I'm gonna give a brief summary. Then I'll move it on to Drew. Yeah. It's a Star Wars Western. Okay. You see a light like. Only guns. You see a lightsaber for like 10 seconds. Okay. That's mm -hmm. it. And then it's gone. Did you ever see Rogue One? No. You should see. Oh, that's, that's a real really good one. That's, that's the, a so This is a Rogue One and Solo. Since they're just completely separate, just parts of the Star Wars universe. Yeah. They're really good. So what would you give it? Uh, one to five. I'm going to give it a four. Four. Okay. A four Drew. and a half. I Ooh. A four Drew. and a half. We think? a four and a half. So Whoa. Well. I really, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, but, really, I agree with him. It was a Western. But now, you didn't have a lot of expectations. No, not at all. Um, 
I uh, mostly went. I did that one surprise. I'm not going to ruin it for anybody because there might be no, somebody listening to it. Do you care about? No, go ahead. No, uh, maybe Keith has, hasn't seen it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Right now, everybody, hold on. 15 seconds. We're going to do a spoiler warning. Okay. Just saying. If you don't want to listen, okay, let's do turn spoiler. it off. Let's see. Dude, we're acting like we're Ron Bennington, okay? Yeah. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Thanks, Chris. All right, cool. Um, <coughs> yeah, you can say it. I already said it. I'm going to do it. Okay, so um, in the TV show Star Wars Rebels. No, nope, Clone oh Wars. Oh, God. And Clone Wars. Say Clone Wars first since it came well, first. Well, the, fir- the only reason why I'm saying this is because they have the lightsaber from Rebels that he's holding. So, anyway, Darth Maul shows up. Okay. Which is he's only been on screen one time. You right? know who Darth Maul is, Darth right? Darth Maul, the red guy that got cut yeah, in half. Yeah, he, he, du- he had the d- by, double donger, right? With the double right, dong, yeah, the, yeah, the, the he double had donger, two dongs. Yeah, right. Um, he's only been on screen twice, and right. that was that time and this time. Okay, and he's actually the leader of who Amelia Clark's actually working for, the Crimson Dawn. Okay, and Amelia Clark. I want her to marry me as my second wife. He's I don't know who he's Amelia Clark is. He's trying to say that Darth Maul's alive and he appears at the end of the movie. Which he's going to be in the next one if they do another one. So Amelia Clark is is what character does she play? Daenerys, uh, she plays uh, Kira. Yes, she plays Kira. The main, is that the main, a, is the main that love, love and the love and yeah, but Hans we, know, we know that he doesn't end up with her. Right. So, no, because she probably dies. Yeah. I think there's going to be a second solo. Well, there well, probably Well, if it does be. good. I mean, it's, it's not, not doing it's so not great. Going, it's not doing yeah. so great. It isn't, huh? And you get to see how they meet with Chewbacca, which I really enjoyed. Did I, you like how we met Chewbacca? Uh, yes. I actually didn't mind it. I thought that was kind of interesting. But I didn't expect the Wookiee to actually be eating people down there. Because there were bones. There were people with bones. So he did actually eat somebody at one point. Yeah. I, I didn't expect how that. How does that make you feel? Not real. I mean, it doesn't make me like upset or anything like that. How do you how there how do you think about this whole entire Lando being in love with a robot thing? Uh, that was weird. It was a big controversy. That he's a pansexual. Pansexual. He was just in love with a robot. Oh, I, I mean, agree. I it's mean, whatever. was it a? I mean, this is a stupid question. It was a girl robot. Yes, it was a girl robot. L three. Okay. Yeah, but see, that's I don't think there's such thing as a girl robot. She was voiced by a female. Yeah. So she had female characteristics. Yes. Right. All right, so will you give it a four and a half? Yeah, I gave it a four and a half. She talked too much. <laughs> well, she, she became the ship. She became the ship. Yes. Oh, she I talked. Yeah, so she was a girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that's our movie review for Solo, a Star Trek adventure. <laughs> All right. What? No. What are you staring at me for? What no. did I do? No, I was just want to see your reaction when you said Star Trek. I just, oh, I don't funny care. because he called it it's Star whatever. Trek adventure. It's whatever. Yeah. Because it's, it's funny. Okay, so... We you give them a rise, then it is added more on. God, you're right. You're <laughs> so right. Okay, so we also review something called commercials. Uh, oh. And I'm actually not very prepared to review any commercials. I, I don't know if they're reviewing. I just want to show you some that just I hate so much. Mm. And we've already visited the real people uh, Chevy commercials, haven't we? Oh, yeah. So, if you like these... I prefer the parody ones. Well, the parody ones are hilarious, <laughs> but th- because these are so stupid. If you like these, then, boy, you're in the wrong place. I, <laughs> I, I want to trash them out. I want to trash them oh, out bad. It's God. a Chevy Malibu. <laughs> okay, so this is the one... It's a Chevy Malibu. <laughs> Ooh, my, 90, my 82 Nissan Maxima kills entry. <laughs> what are you, high, Cheryl? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this is the one where... This ass is... He's talking to people who've been dating for a couple months. Right. And showing them cards for some reason. Yeah, because trying to make a commitment. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I want to show you guys three... Here, we start again. Sorry. So you guys have recently started dating. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I want to show you guys three... Sh- oh, wait. What did that say? Real people, not actors. Cool. Real sh- people, not actors. Oh, real couples. Who, who, okay, who wants to call bullshit on that right now? Okay, I'll, you, 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 and you. Why would you even put that you, in the commercial? Yeah. You, Why would you, you even put that in the commercial? Because they want you to make it feel like it's real. Everything like that too. They want you okay. to think it's real. It's yeah, but come on, how stupid are we, right? They want you to think we're that not. That we're, real we live in a reality world where we got a president who does all kinds of shit, <laughs> and we're supposed to believe this is real. You know, then again, we, have, we give me a fucking break. Then again, the old people that are alive right now would believe it. No one's gonna buy this shitty cars. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. so these guys, they're real. They're not actors. Recently started dating. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I want to show you guys cool. three Chevy SUVs. 
The first one is called the Trax. Great for when you move in together. Uh, and this is the Chevy. Awkward. It's great when you <laughs> move in together. Oh, shocking. Oh, my God. Can you believe us moving in together? Yeah, the oh, guy's no. like, we've only been dating a month. Yeah. Chill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Chill out, Rocks, man. Perfect for when you two have your first kid. <laughs> Again, <laughs> chill. Okay. This he says, you missed, you, you You stepped over. Here we go. <laughs> give me some time. <laughs> <laughs> give me some time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because since the guy said it, it it's, a, it's a full commitment. Yeah. You know, if you say it right now. Oh, God, I hate okay. this. Okay, this is the Traverse for when you have your five kids, two dogs, and one cat. <laughs> oh. Five? <laughs> uh, Correct. So the girl says, well, first of all, the guy laughs. One guy <laughs> yeah. laughs. And then the next girl says, uh, like she's signing up for it. No one, right. no one says we're signing up for it. He's trying to be an ass, and it's so stupid. Right? Why you would, why anyone would ever be uncomfortable because they're dating someone for two weeks, and someone says, "Yeah, you're gonna buy this car when you have five kids." Uh, that wouldn't make me feel uncomfortable in the least bit. Right. And I wouldn't care. Right. And I'd go buy myself a Ford. Right. Right. Your, your thoughts on this? Uh, I, hate I think it. that I feel like. Uh, <laughs> God, I hate it. it. I feel like he's also trying to set them up on trying to get a contract for the car. <laughs> so they right. both have to pay for it. And then they're technically in a serious relationship after that. Yeah. Like they think this is binding. Some asshole from Chevy right. tells us what we have to do. Just some Car-Native actor asshole. $5,000 below MSRP on this Chevy Equinox when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Okay. Yeah. That was just the rest of it. So anyway, do you guys hate this too? Yes. Yeah, I think it's stupid. Can you I help? hate I I hate that man. The guy who does the yes. commercials. I bet you he's one of the most hated men on the commercials. <laughs> well, can you guys give me a, a healthy uh way to deal with it when it comes on my TV? Uh, as opposed to yelling write it, profanities. Write it down and we'll put it in the podcast. Um so. I have a perfect thing. Change yeah. the channel. Change the channel. No. That's a good idea. No. So in the same stupid theme, here's Scars. Chevy's commercial for their trucks. <laughs> we scroll up. Big early man. We scroll up. Thank you. Scratches and dents on the truck. Sometimes me and my buddies we talk about scratches and dents on the truck. I've got to be because I have more fun in my truck than they do. <laughs> this is a fucking lifetime documentary. Real Chevy truck owners, not actors. Again, <laughs> bullshit. This this old drunk is driving around. <laughs> He's saying, "Yeah, I have a little bit more fun than my friends." I I've got lots of scratches uh, on mine. Probably going to a cross. I ran into here. a cop car the other day when That's I was right. wasted, and it was awesome. I, I took out a top, and I did my toddler. Chevy. <laughs> I took out a toddler on a bicycle and <laughs> dragged it for three blocks. It's because I was texting. Yeah, <laughs> it was awesome, but I but it was in my Chevy truck. Well, I got scar tissue there because I broke that hand. Same thing with any dinner dings on this truck. They all got a story about what happened to him. Okay, so this no. guy, this guy shows his hand because he's got some. I don't know. He maybe he's a beats his man. wife or he's something. He's a working man, and he must be a cowboy guy because he's got his truck in the park in the middle of the cows walking around. <laughs> I'm sure they do that a lot. <laughs> Here's another thing. So every Dan has a story. So this one right here was Johnny's bottle when he threw it at my car. Right. This one right here is when my kids were just running around and like there's six of them with their bikes. This is where I, I I slammed my girlfriend's head into it there because <laughs> she this, was back talking me. You see this yellow stain? It's because I peed on it. <laughs> right there, the, right there is where the chain scruffed up the back when we lent some Negroes down the other day. I mean, <laughs> what kind of stories is it? Okay, I do have a story. I do have a story. <laughs> okay. I have something on the back of my car. It's a story where I was dropping someone off <laughs> at someone's house and I backed up into the basketball goal. I thought it was okay. I thought I was going to get rid of it. But come to find out, there, there was a uh, security camera that <laughs> watched the whole thing, noticed me looking at it, wondered if it was okay, and then watched the basketball goal tumble to the ground later. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's a story I have. And I tell the story because, hey Chevy, I'm not proud of it. I'm not going to do a Ford commercial where I'm like, my uncle knocked a telephone pole over and hit the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I got- want. Here's a story I gotta tell you. One time I was so stupid I ran into a basketball goal. <laughs> anyway. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about my story. One time yeah. I was driving at three o'clock in the morning and hit a deer. Whoa, I've never whoa! Hit a deer. Have you hit a deer before? Yeah, I really did hit a deer. Oh, have you hit a, have you hit a deer before? No, I've never hit a deer. 
Now, you got to be careful. Look- everyone that I know who's ever hit a deer is driving down 50 Highway towards Warrensburg, Missouri. Or Lone Jack. Yep. So be careful. Don't okay. get pulled over either. Let's go back to how stupid this is. <laughs> Wait, it's not over yet? Oh, here's some strapping young man. Yeah, let's see what this guy. It was raining, it was muddy, there's only one way out. I got against that barbed wire fence. I could feel it, it was just digging into the paint. This Chevy's a survivor. <laughs> okay, so the guy the guy with your barbar th- these are mistakes. These are this is, <laughs> these guys have fucked up their equipment. You know, what, here's, you know what, here's my thing. Here's what I'm getting from this. Wow, Chevy trucks <laughs> can't take damage very well. <laughs> Don't buy those fucking trucks. And they're stupid people who are buying them because they can't drive very well. We have a Chevy so we can wreck it. You know what's upsetting to me? I'm going to major in marketing in college, and I'm going to have to do commercials just like this. Yeah. And they all go, Uncle Paul, look at my new commercial. And the next the next Thursday I go, see, he's going to go, look at how fucking stupid see, my nephew now, is. But nowadays, I don't know how they, how they do... Advertisement because th- this is successful because Chevy bought it. That's it. Yeah. I-, I don't know if they have any. We b- sold more trucks with it anymore. You know, because it's so stupid. Okay, let's see who, what other idiot. This Chevy's a survivor, especially with us. I mean, Shut up! You ain't doing no heavy loading. All the things we've done to it. <laughs> Two bulls are fighting. All the things we've done to it. I can see for half my children and grandchildren in the back of this pickup truck. It was weird. Little Chandra, her head cracked open here as she was hiding in the back of the tailgate. And we were hitting a hail. Oh, what's this guy now? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Two bulls were fighting. Okay, this is going to be good. All the things we've done to it. Two bulls were fighting. Bam, hit the truck. Try explaining that to your insurance company. What were you doing in the middle of a bullfight? Another ding, another scratch. <laughs> It'll just be another chapter in the What are you getting all fucking emotional? Every scar tells a story. <laughs> and you can tell a lot more stories when your truck is it's a Chevy Silverado. Silverado. You can tell a lot more stories when your truck is a Chevy Silverado because they always get fucked up. <laughs> they always get smashed. And they don't really hold because on to Because all you do is well. buy a Chevy to wreck it. <laughs> God. The most dependable, longest lasting, full size pickups on the road. No. No, it's not. Because once you dent it, then it begins to rust. <laughs> like, right. And then you have to buy a new truck because right. you got rust on it. Give me that bullshit. Oh, Chevy. <laughs> Chevy, Chevy. Why do you got to do this to me? God. Okay. Chevrolet, shove it. Oh, so right. that's so that's us reviewing right up that butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and folks, I hope you're catching the entertainment part of this, where a crazy man in his fifties <laughs> who loves Superman too much is screaming at his television because of Chevy commercial. <laughs> He's insane. We're all insane here. Just like Alice in Wonderland, we're all mad here. He's 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 Word. lost his mind. Yeah, I think you lost your mind here yeah, because you're a different person everything like that. Thank okay. you. And now my camera's fucked up. Because <laughs> someone pounding on the... Someone's playing the drums. <laughs> yeah, let's get the camera. Gently, ever so gently, ever so... You're, you're pulling up. I need to pull it over. Okay, perfect. Okay. You sound just like Mac when he yells at me. <laughs> Dude, what Waffle House would I be talking about, Drew? <laughs> the one on Douglas! The one on Douglas! <laughs> did you guys go to eat breakfast too? Yeah. He did, I showed up late. Yeah, this dick! I, go- I left home early, like I really did. I had to get gas and then I headed there. You know what gas you guys means, you know, it. you know what getting I gas means. I didn't smoke like, until after I ate. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I explained myself. You know what getting gas means. I only got one I cup of coffee up. and it was a shame. Shut up, dick. We're okay, let's go up. and take a, another break. It'll be fun. <laughs> uh, this is KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew. And ja- starring Jack, who's all up in your face. We'll be right back. Hell yeah! Hello, my name is Fletcher, and I've come all the way from Lancaster, England, to set up a studio in New Bloomville, Bloomfield, Missouri. It's called Performance and Paint. 
That's right, I get stark ass naked and begin to paint myself in many different colors and, without even skipping a beat, get a whole pad of canvas and roll around it in front of you. That's right, it's $15 a ticket and I suggest you go and see it. Performance and Paint with Fletcher. That's right, in Bloomfield, Missouri. Come on down and come and see me naked and covered in paint. <laughs> we want the most in flavor for every penny we spend. An extra flavor is just what you do get in our Maxwell House coffee. That wonderful good to the last drop flavor no other coffee has to offer. No coffee but Maxwell House. And there's a good reason why. It's our recipe. The only recipe on this green earth for that good to the last drop flavor. It calls for certain fine varieties of coffee to be blended together just so. It's the one way, the one recipe for that famous Maxwell House flavor. That wonderfully good flavor that's made our coffee America's favorite brand. That's why you find so much more enjoyment when your cup is filled with Maxwell House coffee. So next time you bring home a pound of coffee, make it that familiar blue tin of our Maxwell House. For more flavor, for your money's worth and more, start enjoying coffee that's always good to the last drop. Hi, I've got something to say, music. I want everyone to check out I've Got Something to Say. It's a brand new podcast produced by KCTK Radio. It's a, a lot of fun. It's our, our friend Chris um, Whiting, and he tells stories, hilarious stories. It doesn't take very long to listen to. Just go to iTunes or Google Play. Type in, I've got something to say, and listen, and every other week you'll enjoy a really funny story from Chris, and uh, you'll like it. So, it's I've got something to say, new on iTunes from KCTK Radio. Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. Come on down and get your Hyundai. You need a Hyundai. Come to Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. That's Corwin Hyundai. Come on down and get your Hyundai at Corwin. Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. That's Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. Corwin Hyundai. Jeff. Urson City. Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. That's Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. Corwin. 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 Hyundai. Corwin. Hyundai. Corwin. 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 <laughs> That's Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. That's Corwin Hyundai in Jefferson City. Welcome back to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew starring Jack all up in your face. And we're starting a new countdown of the music that you love to hate. I have found the top five songs that are considered the worst songs of oh, all okay. time. Oh, okay. So you changed it up in the last time because that was a boring list that we were doing. I know. I didn't like it. I don't blame so, you. So here we go, folks. Number five of one of the worst songs of all time. It's Starship with We Built the City. This is one of the worst songs on rock and roll. On KCTK Radio. We built the city on rock and roll. Say you don't know me. I recognize my face. 
That's We Built the City by Starship 1985. It's considered one of the worst songs. I really like it on the How I Met Your Mother when they do, uh, they're do. they playing poker. And he's like, we built Chip City on all your dough. Jack, you're wondering why it's considered I so know, bad? I want to know what city, what city they built. Well, New they York. were referring to uh, San Francisco because that's where they're from. But they didn't build the city, though. Yeah, they did. Starship, mm. see, that's the problem with the song. It Starship was Jefferson Starship, which was Jefferson Airplane, who basically started all the 60s music in San Francisco. And that's why people hate the song. They say it is a uh, the most distested song in human history. It's a bloated prog rock betrayal of the 1960s psychedelic dream. So, oh, okay. Um, there you go. The absolute worst song ever. We built the city on rock and roll. Only on KCTK Radio. Only on rock and roll. No, it didn't, you know, the gold rush or anything didn't build it, so it's all good. I mean, they're just, they're doing their part. Jefferson Starship sucks. <laughs> I think so, too. But do you like Jefferson Airplane? Uh, I don't know Jeff- Jeff- Air- Jefferson Airplane, but I know Jefferson Starship, and they suck. You know what? Mm. I think Jefferson Starship was pretty good. Now, that was Starship. I know. They suck. <laughs> yeah. But Jefferson Starship is pretty good. And I always love it on uh, Supernatural where they call these monsters Jefferson Starships because they suck. They suck wow. blood. Wow. <laughs> wow. That, that's Fun rough. Stuff. That is rough. Fun stuff. Speaking of rough, <coughs> let's go to our next episode of News with the Droosh. This just in from Fox News. Oh, Fake God. news. Oh, Samantha shit. B apologized for vile C word attack on Ivanka Trump. What? Are you talking about see you next Tuesday, C-Word? I think so. Hey, that's my favorite Full word. frontal host Samantha B apologized Thursday after she used an extreme vulgarity to slam Ivanka Trump in her monologue on the Wednesday over a phot- photograph. The Can you say daughter, that word on, um, on TBS? Um, I don't think you can. But did she say it? I think she did, and I'm going to say it right now because we do not. Yeah. hold back well, the news. Well, the vulgarity. Yeah, the vulgarity. We don't hold back though. the news here, though. But the vulgarity. Okay? So I'm going to quote Samantha B. She said cunt. <laughs> Feckless cunt. You didn't let me finish. You ruined my thing. That's vulgar and everything like that. Feckless. I'm a dog. Feckless cunt. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Let's make that clear. Apology came, to de- no, it came a day after B used the slur on her TBS show. Shocking viewers and Well, and her show's alike. not canceled, but Roseanne is? <laughs> yes. I think that's the point, isn't it? Well, you have to understand, a black woman runs ABC, okay? She said something about a black woman, okay? So why not? That's why that's canceled, okay? Right. It's clearly bad. That right. is a racist comment, although the first daughter should be able to take criticism absolutely just like her dad right but they don't because no. they have a they i have completely a stick agree with you ass. and what did and, ivanka trump say back and roseanne was was not making a joke right she was being legit right this chick she is was all making a comedy. joke right. and her point was that all these kids are being separated from their parents who were immigrants and ivanka trump runs around like she's so great on the family but doesn't help them at all right which is why he she was called feckless a feckless right see you next tuesday also i think there's something to this have you noticed your african-american friends you would never call them what are those a certain word right but they seem to call each other that right but that's not my place and guess what i'm okay with that 
uh, us white guys have overused our privilege on that word right throughout history I'm perfectly fine but with that. I have a, I have a fun thing though because I'm Italian so I can say Dago or Mick because I'm also Irish well the point the point is uh, back to Samantha B right those women they can call each other that right now, it's not like it was uh, John Stewart or somebody saying yes, that. Yes, exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Did Bill Maher all of a sudden called her cunt. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah, that would be a problem. Right. It would be bad if we did it right now. Right. Too. That's a bad word that people, right. women don't like. Right. Yeah, go ahead, Jack. I wish rational people like us could go like... Rule the fr- world? No, not, not I rule the world, but like... Go up in front of a microphone sort of that up. everybody has to listen to, including the president and everybody, <laughs> and just go, listen here, Miss Ivanka Trump. It's comedy. Grow a fucking pair <laughs> yeah. and get over it. And, right. like, I think that message would be pretty impactful. Well, here's the other thing I would say. That Samantha B said the word to shock you. Don't be shocked by it. Right. You know, don't don't let her win when she's no, trying to Samantha be... No, let Samantha B win. It's fucking Do you hilarious. know how many times they no. say it on Game of Thrones? Quite yes. a lot, really. Quite I'm a lot. I'm just saying oh, that yeah. don't be all sent. Don't be calling all the liberals snowflakes, and then you can't take one little criticism. That's right. what. That's why I, I don't like. So these, I would these stand Trumps. up on the mic and be like, "Hey, you need to stay off Twitter, and your cabinet needs to get your head yeah. out of your ass." Right. And right. Ivanka, grow a pair. Call me exactly. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Have you so. heard this song before? Jefferson Starship with Miracles on KCTK Radio. Have you heard the song before? I think I have. It's an awesome song. It's Jefferson <laughs> Starship. I like the beginning. Ready? Oh, wait. It hasn't kicked in yet. Oh, Let's see, listen to some I want, Steely Dan. I want to hit the post, right? But I can't. Yeah. Only on KCTK Radio. Only there we go. Like sound, anyway, the point they is... They like they're trying to rip off Steely Dan. Yeah, it was that It was that time of, of the world. Um... The point is, Jefferson Starship did have a good song, so that was good news. That was good, <laughs> interesting. I like, yeah, you like that? Interesting, um, Samantha B. Yeah, and it allowed us to say bad words. And I will which say, cool. she's not that funny. So I don't know why everyone's getting t- you know, getting a tizzy about it. I, I I think, and see, I, I understand where she's coming from, but her her show's too angry for me to like. Well, you know I, what I mean? Yeah. And uh, who's the girl that did? Um, the uh, dinner. Oh, uh, uh, Michelle Wolf. She's got a TV show yeah. on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it yet? No, I don't bother with that. I didn't think she was funny in the first place. Yeah. I saw her on Seth Rogen's um, for uh, Hilarity for Charity. Autism, autism. Yeah, was she good there? Hilarity for Charity. I didn't think she was that great. I liked the girl at the end. I thought she was hilarious. I don't uh, remember her that? name. Oh. Um, but I also love John Mulaney. He was fantastic on air but as well. We're not talking about who you like. We're right. About. Right. And you know what? That's the reason why I'm changing the subject change. and telling you what I like. Okay. Michelle Wolf can be funny. She's a good joke writer. But I didn't think her thing was that funny either. I also didn't think it was that shocking. No. It also, you it's paid like, her to come it. in and exactly. do comedy. So why is everybody getting a tizzy about it? Right. Because the president doesn't have a funny bone. He has no funny bone. And Get no, a funny bone, bro. Get some implants. Yeah, he he's he's got some issues. Word, but uh, he, he wouldn't it be cool if we called this fake news. That'd be awesome. I did. I called it fake news. No, I want him to call our show oh, fake yeah, news. Yeah, because you know why? Why we're fake news? This isn't a real thing. None right. of this is real, right. folks. And there's only one listener, so it's right. all good. That's good. Jack, you got any more tech news for us? No. All right. Okay. <laughs> Can you? I'm going to use this opportunity because I want you to tell me some of the advantages I now that I have finally got. See, I thought you'd be so happy I got a new iPhone. I was. What are some advantages? It's a lot that faster. I it's bigger. It's a higher quality screen. Uh, the battery is. I already say about the battery's a lot better. You know, um, you hate the Henry Cavell movie, but you have a poster of Superman right there. That's a shot from Man of Steel. I know, but I. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's it. Okay. Hypocrite. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, folks, for joining us this week on uh, KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew starring Jack all up in your face. He's, we've talking, had, he's talking about me. We've had a lot of fun. We'll see you next week with more hilarity. And, uh, yeah, we'll be here next week. Yeah, yeah we'll be here. Yeah, okay. We'll here. Thanks, folks. We'll see you next week.
has been a KCTK production produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. Listen to live programs at kctk.radio12345.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you.